Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the seven C's of effective communication and self-management. The seven C's of effective communication are first is clear. Be clear about what you want to say. Second, concise. Use simple words and say only what is needed. Concrete. Use exact words and phrases. The next one is correct. Use correct spellings, language and grammar. Coherent. Your words should make sense and should be related to the main topic. Complete. Your message should have all the needed information. And courteous. Be respectful, friendly and honest. Now let us learn about self-management. Self-management refers to the management of or by oneself. Taking of responsibility for one's own behavior and well-being. It also means managing yourself with the people and resources around you. It aims at conducting oneself for the greater good of the individual, family and the society. Self-management is exhibited by our habits, manners, knowledge, intentions and our deeds. Good habits like brushing teeth, taking bath, eating balanced diet and getting up and sleeping at right time every day helps us maintain good health and physique. Good manners like being kind and friendly, helping others, being a good listener, respecting, sharing, saying please and thank you are key to maintaining good relations with others. Being responsible for knowledge acquisitions and learning increases self-esteem and develops an inquisitive mindset and curious approach. Some positive results of self-management are it guides individual to self-monitor their conduct and behavior. It helps in self-evaluation and it leads to self-reinforcement of positive behavior. Self-management skills. Self-confidence. It refers to trusting one's capabilities and potentialities to achieve the necessary goals, objectives and challenges in life and being worthy of leading a happy life. Stress management. It refers to a state of psychological tension and discomfort originating from unforeseen, difficult, confusing and challenging situations. Independent working. This typically means is when an individual is assigned a task, he or she takes ownership and does not require constant assistant or supervision to complete that task. Team player, a person who confirms well with norms of a team and contributes to the attainment of the common goals in an efficient and effective way is called a team player. Time management, it is conscious effort to prioritize tasks according to the time at hand to increase productivity, efficiency and effectiveness. Self-motivation. Motivation is defined as a driving force responsible to do something. The students who are motivated to achieve academic goal, their future is much better than the others. Personality management. General neatness, grooming, appropriate dressing, Apt verbal and non-verbal communications are components of good personality.